In order to derive this implicitly, the first thing I want to do is change this to be xy to the 1 half equals x minus 2y. I always like changing it to be a half power. This is kind of annoying to derive this. When you derive, you derive each piece where it's at. So when I derive this, I simply take the 1 half, bring it out front, leave the xy, and then drop the power by 1. But then you have to derive this inside, which is a product rule. The derivative of that inside, derivative of x is 1, derivative and then leave y, plus leave x, and the derivative of y is y prime. That second piece is commonly missed. Equals, let's derive this side. Derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of 2y is just going to be 2y prime. That is my derivative. Yay. The problem now is, let's get it into <coughs> y prime by itself. So if, if we could always just leave it like this, it'd be, we'll all be happy. But we are now have to get y prime by one, uh, one side. Now, here's where the problem is for some of you. This y prime I can't just move because there's connected to this. All right. So there's a distributive property we have to mess with. So we actually have to do a little distributive property here. And what's going to happen when I do that is I'm going to get 1 half xy. I'm going to leave the negative 1 half for a while times y plus 1 half xy to the negative 1 half times xy prime equals 1 minus 2y prime. That's the first step. You actually have to distribute this. So now I have two sets of y prime, meaning I have this piece and I have this piece, which I can now get the y primes to one side. Before, you can't. And that's a common mistake. People would go, oh, I could just move this over. No. There's a piece out here that needs to be distributed with it before you move it. Very easy to miss that. Okay. So let's move this all to one side. So what I think is I'm going to move these both over to the left side. So keep this as, uh, I'm actually right now going to rewrite this as 1. No, no. I'm going to rewrite this whole thing right here as xy prime because this goes to the top, over 2 xy to the 1 half. When you group this all together, this goes to the top with the 1, the 2 is on the bottom, and this negative power drops. I'm going to add the 2y over, sorry, the 2y prime. I'm going to move this over. When I move that over, I have a y on top. It's negative. When I move it, it becomes negative. And then the 2 xy to the 1 half is on bottom. And then don't we have a plus 1? OK. Next step is get the y prime by itself. So to get the y prime off GCF wise, you yank the y prime out, leaving you with x over 2. And you could actually write this as square root of xy if you want. Okay, oops, that's the first piece. I should have probably put that parenthesis. Plus 2. When I pull out the y prime, are you okay with those two pieces? I really don't need that parenthesis there, but I kind of put it by accident. Equals negative y over 2 times the square root of xy plus 1. Next, when I divide by this mumbo jumbo of ugliness, that was an interesting word, sorry. I'm going to divide this over here. And that right here, my friends, is the derivative. But that is not a prettiness. We need to simplify this down. So what we have here, let's simplify the top and the bottom real quick. Okay? Do you understand here I'm going to need to multiply by 2 square root xy, top and bottom? 
And here, don't you need 2 square root xy? 2 square root xy? To both, so I can get a common denominator. So I have y prime is equal to, and it looks like I'll have on top negative y plus 2 square root xy over 2 square root xy all over, because that's the top, x plus 2 times 2 is 4 square root xy over 2 square root xy. Now, is that the final answer? No, because can't you, when you divide a fraction by a fraction, don't you flip and multi flip the bottom? So what we have here, technically you flip this whole bottom, and when you do that, what you're going to end up with is a 2, parenthesis, xy minus y. Are you okay I switch these two? And when you do that, when you flip this other one, do you understand? When you flip this and multiply, aren't these going to cancel? Can you imagine that, this canceling? And all, all I did is flip these two, put the minus behind. I just don't like to have minuses there. And this is going to be x plus 4 square root xy. That is as pretty as it's going to get. That's the prettiest, for now, way. And again, how did I do that? I took this bottom fraction, I flipped it and multiplied. I'm not going to write it all because it could just get really ugly. And when you flip it and multiply, this cancels with this, leaving you just this at the denominator. That would be your nice little answer.